Hey everyone, Papa Gord back again for yet another Black Series review. Now I've seen quite a few people posting this review lately and I'm going, oh yeah, I had that figure a while ago and I wonder how many views I've got on my review of that said figure. And then I looked and went, oops, I did not review that said figure. <sighs> Must have been in a live stream that we really looked at this guy. But we've got the boss. Republic Commando RC-1138 boss. So as basically what we have is Hunter made white and red and blue. So it is 100% the Hunter body through and through. Only difference is again, it's the helmet where this is a mask, there is a head and that is that. Backpacks are exactly the same. The weapon is exactly the same, like the, they're, they're handheld. Hunter has a knife, but he's also got a knife sheath, which if you've ever seen me talk about, especially this figure or this mold, because it's not just Hunter. The crosshair figure suffers due to this figure and the reuse that Hasbro uses at times. I understand Hasbro has to. They cannot go and give us a brand new mold for every single figure that they have ever put out. It would cost us far more than what we're paying on average right now for a Black Series figure. So they have to use reuse and they've got to reuse parts and whatever they can get away with minimally to be able to put another character out. And yes, sometimes they may not look exactly the way that we've pictured them in our heads or debating on what property that they are from. Hence again, the video game Republic Commando, which is like 20 years old or something like that now. I haven't played it in years. I have been tempted to pick up the those re-releases. I think there's Republic Commando and I believe the uh, Pod Racer and there's two others. I haven't bought any of them yet, but really for me being a, a casual, I was a casual Star Wars gamer back in the day. This really doesn't bother me all that much. I do understand he is slightly undersized, but I think we would be in uh, serious trouble. Just need Wrecker here for another comparison. I think Wrecker would be just a smidge too big. And Hunter, I think, is just a little too small. If you were somehow able to go in between these two, I think you would find yourself in a good position. And you would probably be pretty happy with the Republic Commandos that we have. Because, yeah, they should be a little chunkier anyways. But again, I don't mind. We've seen the looks before. I dig the helmet. I love that that kind of that crisp blue color in the T-bar. This was the only thing I kind of had a laugh about. And it must have been in a live stream that I talked about this. It just looks like it's a puffin head. You got two eyes and then the beak at the front. That's just what it looks like to me. I can never unsee it every time I even see the figure sitting on my shelf like this. I can picture that small spot on the back of the helmet and go, oh boy. Now, we have had announcements already for Fixer and for Sev. So 1140 and one. 1207? 1207 for Sev and 1140 for Fixer. 1138. So this will become Delta Squad. I would imagine that at some point we will get the fourth member of the team added in there as well. But yeah, this is basically what you're getting. There's no unmasked helmet like a guy. There's no head. There's nothing. It's just a straight helmet, which feels a little weird. 
because of this mold, but uh, yeah, it's it's more than fine. Like I dig it. I like the red. I like the green. I, I like the different colors. Obviously, we kind of figured it was gonna, gonna go the same route as like the phase one or even the phase two clone trooper where we started getting the different degrees of ranks in like yellow or red or blue or green. As soon as I saw the hunter body, I was like, oh, I bet you we're gonna get something with that. And then here we go, we got it in red. Now we're getting it in green and so on and so forth. So again, for, for what I need this to be, I'm okay with it. I'm not sure what else I'd want it to come with, or him, but it's it's fine. I'm not a hardcore guy. The only massive complaint I have, and I was gonna say this earlier, but we're saving it for now. And I have said this ever since I unboxed the Bad Batch version of Crosshair and then Imperial Crosshair, and then this guy. And that is the hole in the forearm. That is for this absolute monstrosity of a knife sheath that Hunter has on his forearm that translated to crosshair because he uses, there is reuse from Hunter and Crosshair together. And then this, like I said, you take, take the helmet out of it and that this is all Hunter. He's just got a different skin. So this has always irritated me. Like Hasbro, you can't spend that extra half a cent or a fourth of a cent or whatever and just make a little plug. And I know I'm not expecting you to sand it down or whatever. And if, if I was the type of guy who wouldn't care what I do to my figures and it wouldn't stress me out, I would easily try to sand that down and try to put in a little piece of modeling clay or something and see if I could at least get the, the color to match up as best as possible. I'm not that guy. I am, I am, ooh, I could put a different head on that and it's not gonna break anything and I don't have to cut anything off of this figure that I've just spent amount of money on. So that's me. So, yeah. So we got Boss and then we got Fixer. And then we've got Sev. Those are the, the, the next two that have been announced that are coming at some point in time. And that's gonna do it for me, guys. Uh, let me know what you thought. I know there are some people that will completely pass on this and I get it. And then there's others like myself that'd be like, yeah, whatever, it looks like it's Star Wars. The, the helmet is a definite giveaway. I like the helmet, honestly. I do like the gun. I do like the body style. Uh, I will say again, and I agree like a lot of other people, the kneecaps are on the wrong spot. These should be glued down on the bottom. So that, and it's not just on this figure, it's not just on Hunter, it's not just on Crosshair, it's on like Boba Fett, you name it. Most of the figures that have some sort of armor protection on the knees, all are attached to the thighs and not to the lower legs. So I don't know guys, let me know down in the comments what you thought. Is this one that you're still waiting on getting? Do you have this one? Is this a hard pass? Let me know down in the comments. I will try to respond to as many as I possibly can. I've actually been doing a pretty good job, I thought. But anyways, <laughs> that's gonna do it for me. That's gonna do it for the boss. We'll catch you next time. Comment, share, like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube mumbo jumbo. Later, eh?